of tests are there? I'm sure you guys have a lot of familiarity with these two. Um, I'm calling these point of care tests in that you can have them on the counter beside you and um, get a result. Basically, a color change means a positive result. I'm sure you guys have all seen these. And these test for particles of virus within the blood. So it's actually testing whether or not the animal has virus in the blood. And this is very different from the FIV test, which um, Dr. Putney is going to talk about after me. These are about $10 to $20 for tests. Um, and these require blood, either in the form of whole blood, serum, or plasma. We really don't recommend using tears or saliva because the accuracy really is not as good with these methods. So try to use the blood. So then we have confirmatory tests. And confirmatory tests are those that are used after you have a positive test on your point of care test and you're using to confirm whether or not that cat is actually positive. So you can use another point of care test, so like the SNAP test or the HESCA test within, in 60 days. A lot of people will say, why don't we just run um, another point of care test right now and see if, you know, see if it actually is positive. That's not the best idea because it's testing for the same thing, right? And it's probably going to make the same mistake. So you're, you're kind of wasting money by just running another test at the exact same time. And then you can um, run a fancy test that you... <laughs> send into the diagnostic lab. This is called an IFA, or immunofluorescence antibody test. The cells here, okay, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see that those cells are fluorescing, and basically that's an indication that there's virus within those cells. These are about $30 a test, and these are done immediately, so you can draw the blood right after you get a positive and send it in, and this will indicate that the bone marrow is affected, which um, typically means that the cat is persistently infected.